another video recipe. Today I am going to prepare beef breaded cutlets. So for this recipe you need beef. Now this is labeled as uh, round steak. Italian extra virgin olive oil to fry with. A pinch of Italian sea salt, fine. Two eggs, Italian double zero flour and Italian breadcrumbs. This meaning they have to be really fine ground and no seasonings added to that. Now just give me one second so that I'll kind of clean up the place and I'll be right back with you. And here we are. I broke the two eggs, added a pinch of milk and pinch of salt. Always add your salt into the eggs. Never when you're frying or your frying will turn out soggy. So just quickly beat your eggs. Flour first, then dip them in eggs. And then let the eggs run off and breadcrumbs. Make sure you're coating your meat nicely with breadcrumbs. You actually can also do it twice, so deep in eggs again and breadcrumbs again for a thicker crust. Uh, keep going with the breading. You don't have to stay with me the entire time. It's quite boring, so I'll see you as soon as I'm done with breading. And here we are. Our meat is breaded, so we're gonna fry a couple at a time. You never want to fry too much all together because that'll uh, basically cool down your olive, oil, your olive oil and it's not gonna go and get the nice crust. So we'll do a couple of them together and then I'll finish doing the other ones by myself. I didn't tenderize the meat just because usually when you deep fry something it gets tender by itself no matter what. A friend of mine that was a chef always said that you can deep fry the sole of a shoe and have someone eat it and say it's really good anyway. I'm not going to do that, but I trusted his word. You can also keep a little less oil and do a sort of a skillet frying. So, but that's up to you. And we're almost ready. Okay, it's already turning golden. And it's really, really noisy. And when you're ready, you'll just lay them on paper towel to absorb its fat oil.
Faith Number One. And number two. So let me go ahead and we'll get back together as soon as I'm done. And we're done. We've fried all of them. So here they are, nice and golden. Now they will not be perfect as the ones you buy in the grocery stores that are mostly industrial. So you might expect some cracking and I mean it's normal. One thing I forgot to mention because I always do it. Try to pat the meat as dry as you can. Um, get some paper towel, dry it out the most that you can and then dredge in flour, dip in eggs, dredge in uh, breadcrumbs. Otherwise, it'll release much more humidity and your oil will go all over your stove. So I hope you will try it and they're perfect even in a sandwich to take to work, to take the picnics. So try it and you won't be disappointed. And I'll see you again next week for another video recipe. Buon appetito e a presto!